say you're not all here looking for government jobs, are you? Bringing Lincoln to life has been Michael Krebs' full-time job. Even you, my good sir. I can only assume you could not afford a tie and a jacket for your outfit here today. The weeks around Lincoln's birthday are prime time for Krebs and his acting partner, Deborah Ann Miller, who plays Mary Todd Lincoln. Lincoln, you must explain to the man. He may have friends in the room. Good. Then they'll know exactly what I'm talking about. We walked into one school, and one of the little girls goes, look, it's Abraham Lincoln and a princess. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? I tell you, ladies, if your bones cause you one quarter of the anguish that I suffer at the hands of my husband, you have my deepest sympathies. He is always up to some sort of tomfoolery. Mary. <laughs> what is it you want kids to know about her? That she was smart. That she was her husband's partner. La, 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 la. And if these normal people could become the president and first lady of the United States, then so can they. Good morning, everybody. How is everyone today? The youngest students get a personal visit from the Lincolns. The older grades meet the Lincolns during a play. Just seeing all your bright faces can make one happy to be alive. To say Krebs is uniquely qualified for the role is an understatement. <laughs> the real advantage I have is in height six foot four inches so I stand the same exact height as Lincoln Abraham Lincoln on the mound to throw up the first pitch for the Cubs series finale against the it's one thing to have the lanky physique and face and walk and talk of honest Abe but Krebs is also steeped in the history of the 16th president Lincoln thought if women paid their taxes they had a right to vote Krebs was a veteran actor when he was asked to portray Lincoln in 1994 C-SPAN was broadcasting a reenactment of the Lincoln-Douglas debate at Knox College. I see it rapidly approaching. <laughs> he went on to portray Lincoln. Do you see me as a monster, Mr. President? I see you as a true general. Shakespeare, Shakespeare how do you do? It's a great pleasure to meet you. Sir, I am Frederick Douglass. I know du who you are, Mr. Douglas. Sit down. I'm glad to see you. Not only are you seeing it with your eyes, you're hearing it with your ears. You feel the reverberation of the theater. Growing up in Freeport, Illinois, Krebs says the arts were a calling before Lincoln. I had my mentor tell me many years ago, all you need is a plank and some passion. Let's leave him, gentlemen. And that's what I try to take with me wherever I go. I intend to shout it from the top of my lungs as we go wheeling through the town. <laughs> just imagine how far you can all go if you just stay in school. But from the number of good questions, it's clear Krebs and Miller were a hit. Do you like being president? I like being able to help the country. It's also clear that Krebs believes we wouldn't be where we are today without Abraham Lincoln. And I'm sure you'd probably be looking down today and going, what took you so long? Steve Sanders, WGN News. Happy birthday, Mr. Lincoln.